Hola. Hola. This is your boy, Ryan. It's your boy, Easy. And you're listening to Turtle Soup, the internet, nay, the world's only listener-supported podcast dedicated to the ongoing journey of the TMNT all the way from the very beginning Woo. until I either find a place for all the um, NECA figures I've bought or I just stop buying them. Oh, <laughs> it's a problem. Because I got your boy Casey with the sliced foot soldier. You know what oh, I'm saying? Sitting dang. in the box. I got Rex shit. one over there sitting in the box. Oh, that's you know amazing. what I mean? Yeah. I got I got I got stuff, but the problem is on my desk. Right. I've only got so much room. Only so things much room. get knocked over. Oh yeah. And I don't have any other place to display them, man. So I don't know what's going on. Dude, you know what I'm saying? I know but, what I know what's going on. You seen this rat faced dude guy yet? Oh, I love that. Dude, oh, he's so good. The burnt Cheeto and everything. Oh, I'm oh the burnt Cheeto's dead on point. I'm working on my review for him uh right now and uh He's a lot of fun. It's very small, very tiny. Beautiful. But, uh, yeah, I love it. I'm so excited that you're finding these. That's awesome. How, how... Yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't always have. I always have the best look. Like, like I was saying. Yeah, um, yeah My yeah. my target's kind of weak, but mm. yeah, yeah. I got a hold of this stuff, so I'm I'm That's pretty awesome. excited. How how cool is Rex One? Just just in the box, even still, just knowing oh, Rex One, yeah. dude, massive and awesome. Anytime, like just the the presentation's amazing. Oh, absolutely. And like now you have, you can, like, you're probably sleeping a lot better. I, I would assume that. Like, oh, yeah. No, because yeah. he's got my back. He's got your back. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Like, so. it's all good. Like, he's got my back. It's like, it, it's fine. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so happy about that. Oh, that's awesome. You want to know something else I'm really happy about? Desperately. We are live on YouTube, as you know. Yeah. Be sure to subscribe, like the videos. You know what I'm saying? Share the stream if, uh, if you see us live. Uh, and uh, let people know that we're oh. on the thing. And if you're an audio listener, like Amtrak's checks out on YouTube yet, yeah, you're missing a bunch. You know what I'm saying? It's really good. Mm-hmm. Um, as always, speaking of things that are also very good, uh, our patrons are amazing. Ooh. And this episode is brought to you by Brian Bales and Jeff Peters. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This one's mm. for you, fellas. Um, and of course, if you want to support the podcast on Patreon, patreon.com, Turtle Soup Show. They'll be making that podcast. You That's know what I'm saying? It. Um, and all kind of awesome tiers, uh, and uh, the lowest of which gets your name right on the podcast, and then just it's, true. it's on up from there. You know what yep. I'm saying? Like you just keep climbing the ladder of success, yeah. and it's like a pyramid scheme, but when you get to the top, everybody's up there. Everyone's there. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're not mm-hmm. stuck at the bottom. Yeah. You know what no, I mean? No, no. Like you, you do get to the peak. You start at the suit. bottom, but then you're, then you're, then you're there, and then, then you're, you're family. here, and then you're family. Yeah. Then you're family. Yeah. And then it's all good. Um, <laughs> So Eric, where are we in this journey today? Ooh. What what are, what do we have the fortune of uh, covering on this episode of Charles? Oh Zoom? my lord, goodness gracious. We are in the year 1997. The day is the 24th of the month, October. <laughs> that was the like the most ridiculous way to say that. Uh yeah. and and we're going to take y'all back. We're going to take y'all back to the afternoon. Mm. Afternoon you, oh. you just got home from school, more than likely. Oh man. Work, whatever, who knows. And yeah. you turn on the TV and you got ne- uh, Ninja Turtles, Next Mutation. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> you got that. They're fantastic. Never panic. Uh, yes. They're they're there this day for mm. uh, episode seven, All in the yeah. Family. All in the Family. It's almost Halloween. You know what I'm saying? It's getting close to Halloween. Oh, Back in 1997, close. you're like, man, like, yeah. Like like am I am I, am I am I am I too old to dress up like 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 the mean girl down the street make fun of me like right. you know what I mean like but my but, but my my siblings younger so like they're still into it so I don't want to be like a jerk but it's like what do I do and then, and then you're then like well Andy. I guess I'll just go as dead as dead Kurt Cobain and then what happens is <laughs> um uh the mean girl down the street absolutely laughs at you Damn. and then the next day at the bus stop is waiting with all of her friends to make fun of you no and you are immediately you regret this decision dang but That's... you did catch a hot fire uh episode about a baby baby turtle you know what oh, i'm yeah. saying like oh, several yeah. days beforehand right so and you're looking forward to another one coming up pretty soon so right, i mean right right you know what i mean like Maybe you start crawling around and trying to act like her. <laughs> yeah, and maybe that's how you find a way around it. Like you, it could be. you park up on the little stone wall or near the bus stop, and you go, "Me, me, me, I'm a bitch," and like you try to do an impression of her, and then like everyone's like, "Oh, damn, you're hilarious!" And you're like, "Dead Kurt Cobain." Right. And everyone's like, "Oh," and then like you win. 
and then you win. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a yeah. possibility. But it's you true. need to and, need to have watched episode seven all in the family before this because then you, you, you don't have all the pieces of the puzzle and it you, all just falls apart. And if you don't, you don't get to go to the bonus stage where you get to beat up a car. That's true. It's true. Yeah. Beat up her car. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Like, it's the spirit of dead Kurt Cobain. Right. Like, everyone, car. everyone thought that, like, Street Fighter would just made that shit up. But no, that's legit. That's like fighting. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's true. 100%. Yeah, no. But I mean, but you, but you gotta be good. You, know you gotta be saying? good. You gotta be good. Speaking of what's good, how you been, Eric? Oh what's my up? goodness, Ryan. Besides, you know, the panic attacks and the endless Ooh. amounts of stress, the uh, imposter syndrome, and uh, mm. all kinds of other maladies. Really hitting uh, all the bases. I know. Yeah. I know. I'm getting, I'm, what do they, what do y'all call them? A grand slam of, of the emotions. It's a grand slam. Bases loaded. I'm, I'm trying ducks to Ducks on the language. pond. <laughs> ducks and on Eric's the got pond. another panic attack. Is that another baseball saying, ducks yeah. on the pond? I've never yeah. heard this. If you got more than one guy on base, people say, oh, man, ducks on the pond. You know, would that I'm going to I'm going to put that in the uh, it's the pretty old, great. The old lexicon. Um, yeah. Ducks on the pond. I'm going to use that. So, uh, but no, things things have been pretty good, mostly because i uh, been going to a ton of shows, dude. Like mm. just we saw the Beths last week and then uh, we're going to go see the Cure the cure the cure the the crew the cur- the cure mm. that's the band the cure sorry and um i'm going to go see them tomorrow and uh that's going to be fun my wife has uh, strategically f- figured out a possible like area where robert smith might be residing while he's in tampa and so oh. Goes without saying, we will be you know hunting for uh, bl- uh, Black Robert Smith. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah. Um, the last Dark Lord. Bone Seal. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're gonna be doing that, and then uh, that's been fun. And then, dude, I saw a no doubt cover band that also plays one Sublime song. In a <laughs> speaking of 1997, <laughs> oh yeah, you know what great. I mean. I mean, like we're right here, right? Um, that that uh, I saw them at a vegan fest that was in the parking lot of the Sarasota Mall. And Ryan, can you guess what their name was? Run it back one more time. What it's was a, it? It's a no doubt cover band no that doubt just so hap- just so happens to play like one well, sublime one sublime song. I think they play sublime covers occasionally at other events, but at this particular one, they were um, they were uh, just doing the uh, the no doubt thing. But they did do one sublime song, and uh, yeah, sublime cover band that does no doubt cover band does one sublime song. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, That's I'm gonna go with. Uh, do speak oh oh <laughs> that's that's really good do to speak oh man no uh it's actually subliminal doubt <laughs> oh i got a date rape oh my god because <laughs> that's the one sublime, sublime that's the one sublime play. song they would play of course yeah that's the one everyone knows that's the one on the radio that uh <laughs> i think you played that at your wedding did not you <laughs> yeah <laughs> Like you got the guitar. I love. I love. I love it. that. Like behind the curtain. I love that. Like we're pre-recording this episode for YouTube. I, I love. I love the fact that like just without people live, we go straight to like our worst jokes. Yeah, straight. Just like right the there. minute that we're like, it's just us. Yeah. Don't yeah. worry. Like right. the worst jokes come out. Or we start trying to shock each other, which led us to all kind of trouble back in the day. Oh and, yeah. And, and that we're trying to currently rework. Uh, so yeah. let's just add more. But um, subliminal. No, doubt. They were called subliminal doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Because and, they have the one sublime. That's right, pretty right. brilliant. Yeah, I was pretty impressed with it. I was like, all right. So uh, I'm really, I'm impressed right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, like, um, so fake Gwen was fantastic. She was okay. She she looked amazing and she sounded great. Uh, the band was okay, but like okay. they were playing with some tracks because they didn't have horns and stuff, which I understand. A, a ton of bands play with tracks. Like that's not really the issue. Yeah. But it's just. When it came time to the guitar so- for the guitar solo, it was super lazy and limp, and it was horrible. But uh, but yeah, but other than that, I uh. get this. It was neat seeing those band th- those songs played live at a, yeah. at a at a 
like generator stage essentially. So there was mm. something really neat about that. And um, that yeah. was really fun. But when they did all of her solo stuff, like the uh, bananas and, and all that stuff, like Hollerback Girl, that's what it's called. And uh, oh, that was did that too. Huh? Yeah, that was a little weird. But um, that takes you out of it a little bit. It kind of did, kind of did. Take me lie. out of it. But uh, but all the new de- all the actual band stuff, especially like the Tragic Kingdom stuff and and uh, sure. uh, Return of Saturn, like that was fantastic. And so nice. that was a lot of fun. And then uh, other than that, I've been going through the sick like starting. I think I told you that dad and I went and saw Kamen Rider at uh, the movies, right? Like at the movie yep. theater. So, and yep. then they showed Ultraman trivia at the beginning. So that sent me down the rabbit hole. Mm. And so Tubi, the the free TV site, they've got yeah. almost all of them, I think. Starting in 66, Ryan, going back to 66. Wow, nice. And your boy popped them in, pop, pop that on, press play. Oh, and, uh, oh. yeah. And let them Jesus beats ride. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yes. yeah. <laughs> and this is nuts. It feels like it has, there's obviously the sixties had like, even across the pond, you know, it was, there was still something in the zeitgeist with television that mm. still translates dis- despite not being in English. It was, uh, yeah. Something like really neat and like almost palpable. Like you could just like, mm. it, it puts you in this mood and it was like, amazing and what i love about it is watching the train like the everything go from like the early stages where they're just kind of trying to figure it out to where they kind of get their footing and then it gets better and better and better like the suit gets mm. better the, the and everything is practical yeah. all that stuff you could see the wires and then all of a sudden you can't and it's like oh my gosh but the thing that broke my brain and i don't remember if i told you this or not but in reading about it uh turns out there was a show before it where they were trying to do their version of the Twilight Zone. You've seen the Twilight Zone, obviously. I'm sure you're, oh, you're I mean, familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only obsessed um, with it, but yeah. Yeah. So uh, right, and so that got me hyped. And then when I when I started watching the show with that lens of being like, oh, th- this was reappropriated from a Twilight Zone type show. Oh. I was like, oh, this is showing you like humanity and like why it like some of the problem it's like there's a lot of it's not necessarily satire but it's like there's stuff yeah there's stuff there yeah there's commentary and all this stuff and i'm like man that's amazing i loved it so much and like so now i'm like you know deep into it and you're just deep diving just deep diving and uh yeah so that's that's been me man i've been i've been having a blast as far as that's concerned how you been i've been i've been good i've been good um let's see a couple things happened for me uh, the first one was this past Saturday. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had a bit of a rain dog reunion, which was like mm. me and all my friends from high school and stuff. Um, you saw Pacer. So, Odie yeah, was there? Probably. Yeah, big yeah. shout out to Odie. Finally got to meet his wife Jackie, which oh, I haven't met nice. before her before. She's mm. great, and mm-hmm. uh, yeah, my, my buddies Jeremy and John were there. My friend oh, Chris yeah. Ed was there. <laughs> uh, my cousin Cody was there. Like we were all there. Yeah, uh, went to Latin Grill, had delicious Cuban food, and then. Um, <laughs> One hilarious thing is, um, so I live in technically uh, a little town called Riverview, mm-hmm. right? And Riverview is like, I call it a town. Like Riverview is just an area. Like, yeah, like there's, yeah. there's, it's just an area. Like, uh, anyway, so uh, John was saying that like he was watching some like house renovation show or something. They had someone from Riverview like on it, and uh, they met the designer at Winthrop, right? Which Winthrop oh, is that's neat. is like. Let me see. How can I explain it? So there used to be a gigantic cow pasture next to my neighborhood. Mm. Okay. It was like pretty big. Yeah. I would call it probably two blocks by two blocks, I guess would be the best way to describe it, but it's kind of deeper than it is wide. It's just this big area. So they started developing it like um, toward the end of like, like, oh, after I was in high school, after I got out of high school. Uh, but now it has like all these like townhomes. Mm-hmm. It has you know uh, this barn theater thing. It's got like a little. It's got a Publix with all these restaurants. They do a lot of like fair, like outdoor, like um, pop up markets there. Yeah, it's become a pretty cool little space to be mm-hmm. honest. Um, it, it's pretty neat. And, and the I always like the architecture. It looks really cool out there. Yeah, it does. So it is like a kind of a little hub like mm-hmm. for where people go. Yeah, but apparently on the show, dude. They they called it downtown Riverview. No. <laughs> yes. Like making you think that Riverview was an actual like, you know, place that had like a downtown and stuff, which right. it does not, guys. It does not. Like Riverview has no, no recognizable downtown. It's no. just a, a suburb place. I um I can understand so, the logic behind it. I get it. I get why they would like say that. 
Yeah, it has some of the hallmarks of that, but but certainly not like it can look like it. If you have a lot of tight shots, you're kind of like, oh, this is a cute little place. Like I wonder, like it makes the it makes it feel like it extends out more, where it's a little more of like a cute little, almost like a little stars hollow from like you know Gilmore Girls, like a little Mm. cute little downtown. Yeah, and it's cute, but it's not that big. Like you know, it ain't it ain't it ain't downtown. No. Um. But yeah, so they call it that. So then we were uh, done eating. You know, we're like, oh, and and. And Odie asked, like, oh, is there, you know, like a Starbucks around or we, you guys want to go there and get a coffee and just kind of like keep the vibe going? And I was like, I mean, there's a Starbucks right here in downtown Riverview. And that shit stuck. <laughs> and, dude, we were we were laughing at that and like basically making downtown Riverview a thing. That was oh, really yeah. fun. But it was so good to see them. And like, oh, yeah, yeah I think yeah. I spent like the whole time just laughing. Like we oh, were just awesome. having a blast. Um, So, yeah, so it was really good to see them again and uh, stuff like that. And yeah, really great to meet Jackie as well. Um. Mm. And it was really cool. Uh, so yeah. then there was that, you know, but that was the day after Randy Land. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I have no. So wait, Randy, Randy Land. Land. Okay. So Do Friday tell. night. Okay. So, so at the Rays game, we have this player, Randy Rosarena. Okay. Right? He okay. he is uh, a stud. He's he's just awesome. Mm. He his story is he came from Cuba. He was born in Cuba. Yeah. Uh, played in baseball, played baseball in Cuba and uh, literally went to Mexico on like effectively like a raft that was basically also kind of like a boat raft, mm-hmm. like to escape Cuba. Oh. Right. Gets to Mexico, plays baseball there. And um, he winds up on the Cardinals in 2020. We go to the World Series. And just before mm-hmm. this, we picked him up in a trade from the Cardinals. And he had a wild games in the World Series for us. Yeah. He, he was basically I had like Babe Ruth stats when he was with us then. Was he still on and the raft or no? No, no, no. Oh, okay. I didn't know if that was a uh, thing. Okay. But he but he kind of came up like and became like kind of a little superstar, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this past um off season, they had a thing called the World Baseball Classic, which happens every four years. Mm-hmm. And all these players from all these different countries play in this tournament. Mm. And it's really cool. Like a lot yeah. of major league baseball players play in it, like from their different countries. Mm. And the MLB has had such a huge expansion, like as far as like diversity. Yeah, a lot of like Latino Latinx players like are now big names in baseball. That's awesome. Um, the Rays has like a huge click of of Latin players, and it's awesome. It's influenced mm-hmm. the whole team. Yeah, like it just the diversity is great, and a lot of these guys, it's a big deal to play for their country. Yeah. Well, Randy, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Randy wanted to play for Team Mexico. Oh, okay. because he didn't want to play for Team Cuba because yeah, a lot yeah, of guys don't want to play for Team Cuba because yeah, it's just not yeah. great. Like, and Cuba has like literally only two players played for Cuba mm. um, uh, because they have all these crazy rules anyway. But he wasn't a Mexican citizen. And so he couldn't technically play for Team Mexico. So Randy slides into the DM of Mexico's president yeah. and asks him, hey, can we make me a citizen? Because I really want to play for Team Mexico, and I really want to be a Mexican citizen. Like I love oh, Mexico. Yeah. I basically grew up there for like half my life. Was there right. before right. I came to the U.S. And he's like, "Yeah, we can make that happen." So Randy became a citizen and played for Mexico in the WBC, and became a a star. I mean, the guy he's such a, he's such a ham. He's yeah. amazing. Anyway, That's awesome. so it, it's it's really cool, and he's just a really cool guy. So when he this year. Playing yeah. for the Rays, that <clears throat> WBC is getting kind of crazy. Yeah, people are showing up in like luchador masks. Like, awesome. it's really intense because yeah, they had like big sombreros when they played. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Like the, the team was amazing. Oh, that's so um, good. Well, people start wearing sombreros to the trop, and they start like whatever. And Randy mm-hmm. plays left field, so he's in the outfield. Right. So the sections near there became like a big like Randy like cheering area. People had like the luchador masks on and all this that's- stuff. So the team. Basically, it was like, I tell you what, every Friday, we're going to turn uh, Section 144 into Randy Land. That's amazing. Right? Oh, that's so, so good. Dude, so I got to get you one of those <laughs> games. So Because, dude, that's so first good. of all, you you pay 50 bucks for a ticket. Okay. You get a free large t-shirt, Randy oh. t-shirt, just off the bat. Oh, nice. Right? So, like, okay. automatically, you're like, well, that's, 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 that's half the price off the bat. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they have different designs that Ducks they the um, that they kind of like roll out. So, and but they're yeah. all very like Mexican themed. Like they oh. look like a lot of like luchador stuff, and like yeah. it just really, it, it looks really cool. So you get that shirt, right? Uh, and then you get a ticket. So just so happens, 
and I wanted to go to Rainland for a long time. Um, but just because it's, it, dude, they they have I like mean, those big heads of like yeah. Randy's head, yeah, and they hand out letters to spell Randy, oh, and they so just good. hand them out, and you just you just get them and like cheer right. and stuff. Right. Um, it's a lot of stuff. But anyway, well, we're watching the game the other day, and uh, the announcers, uh, Dwayne Stats and and uh, Brian Anderson. Um, the announcer start saying, oh, yeah, and for this Royals game on, you know, whatever date it was, um, we're going to be broadcasting live from Randy Land. And they're ca- they're going to call the game from Randy Land. Yeah. Like, so be in the section calling the game. That's amazing. So I think Alicia was out somewhere, and she was like, we have to do that. Yeah. Like, we have to be in, the, in that section. Oh, of course. So you go on the website, and Preston's like, oh, I'm in. Mm. Go to the website, and you can't pick a seat. Like you just say, I want three Randy lands, please. And they go like, here, you buy it. And they're like, here's your tickets. Yeah. So you don't know oh. where you're going to sit in Randy land. And okay. they expanded Randy land out a whole nother section. So now it's like 144 and 142 are all freaking Randy land. So it's huge. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I buy the tickets, three okay. Randy lands. Okay. Yeah. Tickets come in my, in my app. And literally it's like row FF seats 20 through 22 mm-hmm. i'm like okay whatever seats those are right we get to the game we're turning we come up the tunnel we turn around i look at i look up and there's the broadcasters they're like oh. it, right there in the seats right i look at the row in front of me I'm like row w i look up behind them i'm like guys we're gonna be like right next to them basically oh, that's awesome. like we are not the row right behind them mm-hmm. we are the row one back from that oh okay we of ch- two sections of seats yeah. we have seats right behind them so we spent the whole time like being right behind them as the game was happening yeah. watching them call the game like afterwards i gotta show you my where is it oh uh, yeah. I, I i got my shirt and, and i got him to sign it oh nice because it's a large and it's probably like one and a half sizes too big for me i've been able yeah. to fit into xls lately because i'm oh, wasting away nice um but uh but large is a little whatever so this is the shirt oh that's really cool and it's got randy on it <laughs> and it's wearing a and then, mask. yeah and then and then you know there's their signatures or whatever oh man um, and it was a lot of fun and um did that say yeah, all my best series other player i love does it say all yeah my it says all my oh, best okay. Dwayne stats nice. you know what i'm saying yeah and we got to like meet them and shake their hand and talk to them and stuff and it was a blast we were on tv like a ton like Alicia's like uh, boss was sending us pictures of like us on TV, like and it's <laughs> so weird because you see them and you see Alicia just like watching the game and right. classic. It's me and Preston talking. Yeah. Like we're oh. both looking at the thing, but we're both like leaning oh. over like talking to each other, like yeah. and watching yeah. the game. Um, but we had a blast. Randy Land was ridiculous. Um, that sounds awesome. every time Randy uh, came out. One last small story is, you know, the when they warm up when they come out before the inning starts on defense, mm. they toss a ball around and then. Randy usually gets the ball at the end and throws it in the crowd. Oh, okay. You know, like, oh, everyone's like, oh, Randy. You know, it's yeah. great. Sometimes Randy will have like one in his back pocket that he kind of brought out from the dugout. And he's mm-hmm. like, oh, another one. You know yeah. what I mean? Everyone's like, oh, right. yay. Right. We did that. You Ducks know. on the pond. He walks out. I think it was the fourth inning or something. And he throws the ball. Okay. And throws another ball. Throws another ball. Everyone's going crazy. But everyone's starting to go like, where the hell? What's going on? Right. He stuffed his whole jersey with balls, like in, like in the jersey. Okay, that's amazing. He's loaded up. Yeah, he keeps reaching in that jersey and pulling out another ball, and throwing it, and that's another a- one. And it's like it's like how long can this go? Right, right. right. It was like twenty. That's it was awesome. like a million. Like it was maybe over that. He kept throwing. He threw so many baseballs out there. It was like ridiculous. Where uh, it was hilarious. So then when he's getting ready to play, right, the yeah. you know, pitcher's getting ready to pitch, and he's down. He's like doing his jersey. To make sure he doesn't have any hidden back there, like because oh, they, they Cause, wrapped all yeah. the way around him because it's just tucked in, right? And uh, <clears throat> he's like doing his jersey to make sure, like, because well, d- d- if you forget one back there and you start running for a ball, that'd be oh, crazy. Yeah, yeah, that'd be. Um, nice. But we had a blast, and it was just it was oh, just man. wild, and that's awesome. The fact that we were right behind the broadcasters was like yeah. insane. Yeah. Um. And yeah, we had a really good time. So so yeah, that was Randy Land was was insane. And I, t- I it's so funny because afterwards we were leaving the game, I was like. I think I've talked to about trying to get you to a game. Right. I'm like, this is the experience I think you should, you should have is Randy. Oh, Land. Dang. Randy I think Land. it sounds Friday like nights. Something. It's double race throwback night. 
Yeah. So everything's all 90s themed. I think mm. you really enjoy it. Oh, yeah. It sounds like a blast. No, it went on for a while. But that that was Randy Lamb was a lot. And I had to commit it to, to the podcast. Oh, it was, of course. Uh, yeah. No, it was that's... Like, super fun. And yeah. we won in a big way. And it was just like a really awesome game. That's awesome. Yeah. Randy Land. That's amazing. I thought Randy you were going to tell dude. me. I thought you were going to tell me that. So like the uh, he didn't get the citizenship. And so he played for Randy Land. Like, I thought you were going to tell me. Oh, that he that's... made his own country. Yeah, instead of that. that th- that's where I thought that story was going to go. <laughs> I but, mean, uh... Randy, Randy would, Randy, Randy might do it. Like, yeah. I don't know. He, he's a really fun player. And, 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 and yeah, it's just really cool to have um, a guy down the team and just have everybody like really about it. And so there's yeah. something like, I don't know. And I hope this isn't insensitive or anything. I don't think it is, but I just, just because I, I don't have the, exp- I, I come from a very privileged ex- existence, a, a, almost a, a, a uh, infantile infantilized existence but like yeah. from what you just told me like having someone struggle early on and then make their way to a place where presumably especially from a lot of things we hear on this side of that border that it's also yeah. kind of rough there too but nowhere near yeah. what it was before to know that and then to be a professional baseball player that you're probably getting paid handsomely as well oh, yeah. as having your own land now like in a stadium <laughs> That, that I get excited about that. Like, like there's something about like it's, it's almost like the same feeling when you yeah. when you watch a biopic. Like it's like yeah. oh 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 yeah. like what no, you just like, told like, me made me feel that way. There's a lot of really cool like stories and and uh, that that from like so many of the Latin players that mm. like it starts out like yeah so this awful shit happened yeah yeah uh, so another one of our players who you know, we're trying to vote into an all star spot this year yeah. uh, Yandy Diaz. Yandi is from Cuba mm-hmm. and um he he defected twice and was recaptured and arrested twice. Oh jeez. Uh brought back put in jail. Yeah. Got back out and literally the third time was a charm for him oh, to get here. Dang. Um uh, a lot of players uh leave during uh, international tournaments. That's a that's a right. big thing. Yeah, like like yeah. uh they they come here and they just don't come yeah. back. Uh but they have a family over there and it, it, it's it's really mm. crazy. And yeah. and and you hear like almost all of those like Latin players have a story like that. It makes you kind of realize like we are very privileged here. Absolutely. That you know you have a you know white player who grew up playing travel ball and like may 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 not have been rich. You know a lot of these guys weren't mm-hmm. rich. You know I mean? like they they were just normal like people. But like you know they go oh yeah I worked real hard and whatever. And you're like yeah no I know you did. I'm, I'm obviously not not doubting that. But like this guy had to come over on a raft. Yeah. Like to get to another country that was stable enough for him to then come here. Right. right? And that shows you the desire. Um, and it just makes you have perspective on like how like fortunate you are to be like, Oh, I was just born here. Right. Like I just was able to do this and I belong here. Yeah. Meanwhile, these people have to fight and like play a game to even be able to be allowed to be here. But like, right? you gotta feel like you like won with, with Randy land. Like you got to feel Randy like, Land's huge. Like, yeah, you got to feel like you 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 made it. Like you're done. You're done. Oh, like you can just oh, 100%. Quit. It's kind of like it's kind of like uh it's huge. we were watching the history of Little Caesars and apparently like uh, the the pizza chain and um yeah. tying it back to turtles and uh apparently uh their owner, the person who created it was a baseball player. I think he played uh, Philadelphia whatever team they had. Phillies. Is it the Phillies? Okay, I think he played for yeah. them. And he eventually owned them at some point. But this was like back in like, you know, the the 40s mm-hmm. when he played or whatever. And um, and so, uh, yeah, they were talking about like the pizza stuff and like baseball and how it, like it, it basically starts with baseball, goes to pizza and then come, ends yeah. in baseball where he like finally bought the team. But um, but yeah, did you know I want to I want to bring up two pizza facts real quick and then we can get into some. I'm going to transition it or try to. Uh, you know how Little Caesar says pizza, pizza? Yeah. Did you know that that was because it wasn't a speech impediment? It was actually because it was a buy one, get one. <laughs> like, so that's why he said it. That was the whole ad. <laughs> no, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. It's pizza, pizza. And they just kept it. Oh, because it's, like, like, it's like two pizzas. Buy, yeah. You get two pizzas. Yeah. And I was like, mind, oh. mind blown. Then they're showing the logo, Ryan. They're showing the guy, the Little Caesar, an actual Little uh. Caesar. On his on his uh, uh, robe toga skirt thing whatever it is, um, there's a there's a little emblem on it like uh, uh, across the bottom and I was always like oh that's okay I'm I'm a huge fan of design and I'm looking yeah. at it last night and I realized that it's an L and a C and I'm like that's Little Caesars and it's just down at the bottom 
mind blown again. Just who knew? Who knew? That's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Oh, it's the guy who owns the Detroit Tigers. Oh, okay. Okay. That's who that was then. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, thank you for pack checking me on that because yeah, no, I was, no, like, I I was just no curious. Idea. I'm like, oh, no, no, I got no, to see about this. Yeah, no, 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 no. no, no, no. I'm not being rude. I was, I was like, I gotta like, I want to know what team this is. That's kind of crazy because we watched this channel called like Weird History or Food History or something on YouTube. Uh-huh. It's fascinating and it's well done stuff. And uh, yeah, they did an episode on that. And I was like, oh, that's neat. And um, because they were talking about the three pizza, pizza chains, which was Domino's and and Pizza Hut, and uh, mm. you know, the turtles love pizza. And oh uh, yeah. You know, for this new movie, it's actually they're going with Pizza Hut as Father Preston sent yeah. us uh, uh, an ad yeah. for it. So we're gonna have to no back back to Pizza Hut, back to Pizza Hut for so, the turtles right that's now. A, that's right, because they the movie one they had Domino's. I know yep. movie two two uh, movie two as well. But at some point yes. they got they went with uh, Pizza. Hut. Oh yeah, for a long while they went with Pizza Hut. Yeah, yeah. For a minute, yeah. Right until somebody sent him an email and told him. To go with someone else, and uh, speaking of yeah. emails, well, I it's think... funny about emails yeah, is yeah. that we have one, oh, right? That's really interesting. Yeah, that is very um, interesting. <laughs> uh, so this is from uh, Christopher Lefave. Oh, um, says uh, a couple of thoughts while catching up on some recent and one old episode. Ooh, um, straight up, hello, daddy. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, like, <laughs> if he's talking like. If, he, if, if like the plural of, 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 of daddy is daddy, daddy, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, that's true. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I, yeah. I appreciate that. I, I like that. Um, oh, I love that. Um, and uh, so, so I, I'm like, that's just, that's a great way to open, by the way, Chris. If you want more, write more emails like that. I'll read them every time. That's how I send um, my personal or my work emails. Yeah. Greetings, like, daddy. Like your, your boy's like R.E. daddy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like on there straight up. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so he says, Got a few things here. I'm catching up on some episodes that I missed and been otherwise occupied for some time. And honestly, some episodes I listened to and just forgot. It's been too long. Oh, geez. Going back from latest to back in time. Okay, ready? He's oh, got the okay. points. Okay. Ryan. Now, what's funny about some of this is like I'm trying to remember a little bit about what I was talking about or what we okay. were saying because sometimes it just flies by. Oh, oh Ryan, absolutely. <clears throat> if you're going to pee in the dark, sit your butt down. You don't need to swizzle all over the bathroom like a runaway garden hose. If you just sit down uh, to go pee, you can easily keep all that contained. I don't know what I was okay. talking about. Okay, that might be... He said this is a newer episode then? Or is this an old yeah, one? Yeah, from if the it's... latest to back in time. Okay, because remember when I... more recent episode. Remember when I came back from the break and I said, Ryan, I was peeing in the dark and I didn't hear the response? Yes. I heard the call. That might be what he's talking about. But, oh, okay, um, maybe. But I still, mean, I think we sound both, advice. I think we both like also were like, yeah, no, that's how I work. Yeah, I think we yeah. both work the same way. Yeah, like I'll get up in the middle of the night, and because I don't want to like mess up my night vision, because like why would I do that? Right. You um, the I'll bring thing. my phone, but I just turn, I just uh, turn my screen on, and it just yeah. gives a little bit of light. Right, right, right. And so it's enough to maybe see you pee, but like also I'm listening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what course. I'm saying. Yeah. And, and, and it, it's audio, dangerous. Guys. It's dangerous, dangerous when when you're when you're listening and you don't got nothing and you're like, mm -hmm. all right, so a little to the left, yeah, <laughs> and you got nothing, yeah, exactly. Like, and you're like, oh, oh, I'm way off track. Oh, like, yeah. I don't know where the hell yeah. I am. I don't know where. Oh, that's scary. Yeah. Um, I can't adventure. bring myself to sit down and pee. I do occasionally. Um, do you sit down to pee occasionally? Uh, sometimes. Usually, there's when? other stuff happening, probably. But uh, well, that uh, well, right. that that's oh, what I'm trying to say. That. If okay. it's just okay. a, if it's just that. Yeah, I worry that my body might be like, oh, and also this. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, Which, one begets the other. If, if, if I'm off schedule, if yeah. it, if it gets me off schedule, or my body starts going, well, I'm not ready, but like, why not? I got, yeah. I got, I got, I got something halfway going. You yeah. know what I mean? That could ruin my whole goddamn day. Ducks on the. You pond. know what I mean? You have to hop in the shower or something. Like you don't yeah. need any part of that. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, he says, uh, "You gents talked about uh, which of the turtles would likely uh, would be um, likely to smoke the devil's lettuce, <laughs> but you failed to mention that April is a stoner herself, and he sends an image and references the arcade game uh, where you see the bong, oh, the in, her, bong. in her apartment. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, man, she I know that, that we covered that. Bomb. Yeah, I know that we covered that when we did the video bomb. game. Yeah, it's classic. Did. We did, but I totally forgot about that. You're right. We should have brought that up, but yeah, that's, we should have. We should have. We should have. I mean, April's the one. So it's like, who's April smoking with? Is the real question. That's the real that's question. the actual question. But then the other she's question. she's already hitting the devil's lettuce. So who's oh, smoking with her? Yeah, but that's probably how the the fire started in the 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 apartment. <laughs> like that's probably what happened. But like, no think about, about that, dude. 
imagine being like, like just super elevated. Oh. And then your best friends are yep. turtle teens with ninja mm-hmm. skills and their, their rat dad. And then, yeah. And then you're thirsty, uh, you're thirsty. Um, what is it? What does Irma even do? Is she an assistant at the, at the, yeah, new, yeah. She she's works, just she, an assistant. She works assistant yeah i think she works and, at like a like a desk like a, like she's like a, cl- a clerical person, yeah I thought. yeah and then yeah, she's um delayed. and then her robot boyfriend like that has to be the one wa- like what if we could like watch we go back and we watch the animated series uh-huh. trying to tie in the fact that april's high as hell like the no, whole time i mean april be like why do i need to smoke because this shit already crazy oh that's true too that's true too yeah you or, at that point, or she's yeah. smoking to cope with it she's like i yeah. can't trying to deal that's amazing oh um, but yeah uh so uh this is just all little bits but they're so funny okay. next up peanut butter is not sexual on its own it is an amazing <laughs> treat ryan don't despair as it's delis- a delicious creamy seduction Woo. peanut butter is awful it is i disagree sticky oily yes. nyquil it's terrible <laughs> um i agree peanut butter is not sexual on its own yeah. Um, I don't know why I ever said that. I love that. Oh, I think we made some reference to Splinter, maybe, and then things got really off the rails about <laughs> Splinter licking things off of things or something. I can't remember what it was. Do you remember that? I have a no. damn memory of some joke about that, and that's not great. Um, I'll agree that peanut butter is not sexual on its own because I'll be 100. I um, That sounds like a title. Yeah, no, it's the most unsexy thing that I can think of. Oh, not me. Personally. Choosy Moms over here. Mm. Wow. Choosy Moms. Lastly... A callback all the way back to 289. Oh, um, don't oh, wow. let this uh, be too spooky for you because she jumps out at you when you least expect it. And it is a picture of uh, the 11 uh, um, uh, figure from the Stranger Things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, no, her eyes would follow you yeah. around the room. Yeah. Um, now, Tar- Tarjay, the local Tarjay right near downtown Riverview may not have, <laughs> you know, the mirage figures i want right ever. yeah except for like one maybe mm. uh but uh they do have so many copies of mm-hmm. tmnt stranger things yeah i definitely. could have <clears throat> each one eight times over yeah and i try every time i pick one up and i mm. go can i do something with like oh, with the, paint. the new the new classic sculpt like can i do mm. can i like could I like? I can't. No, you know? no. I, I I can't do it. The Stranger Things figures offend me, um, and I just can't. <laughs> I am dead serious. I am pretty sure they just used like a mold of like um, Daisy Ridley's face and just put it on Eleven, and it was like mm. it's it's Eleven now because oh, she looks yeah. just like yeah, Daisy it's Ridley. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, so uh, he signs off. Chris Drowning Rabbit Lefave, like oh. favorite. Oh, nice. Boom. Thanks, Chris. Thank you um, so much. Man, I love it. Yeah. Um, just sit down to pee. You know, that probably would. I mean, I, so I had a friend who sat down to pee. Mm-hmm. Literally was one of the most like manly man, men's man boys I knew. Okay. Yeah. And straight up was like, if you sit down to pee, you your toilet will basically never get dirty. Oh. Straight up said that. Oh, yeah. It was just like. I've done it, and I'm here to tell you that your toilet's basically pristine, mm. pretty much forever. Yeah, the standing up and peeing is actually like the worst and gross thing in the world. And I was like, I gotta tell you this. I know, as a white straight man, I was born with a ton of advantages, but yeah. I am looking to cash in on the advantage of being able to just like unzip and pee and then go walk away. That's I hate to say that. Like, yeah. like there's a lot of things I'm willing to give up. Mm. You don't understand. You know what Absolutely. I mean? The whole situation. You know what I mean? Like that, that I maybe do. like, you know, when you're privileged, equality feels like oppression. Like I like get that concept, <laughs> except I would like, I would like to be able to pee outdoors and standing up in my house. That's the thing I like to do. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Um, you I feel, feel like I just, but you don't have to just worry. think about all the time when you save standing up to pee, bro. Like those seconds matter, bro. Like they I mean, do. I pee a day, like four or five times a day, like at least minimum, like two if you're hydrated. Yeah, that's two true. times a day. You're, you only pee two times a day. I don't know. I like to hold it. I like to. It's, it's a challenge. I like to see uh, how long I can go. Oh, you do you really do that? No. 
because yeah, that's, a pro- that's, that's problematic. Yeah, that's not good for me at all. But it I don't be dehydrated. Do it. it could be. Um, I get if you drink it too much. That's another problem. It is. I always got to drink. It's a balance. Yeah, but the oh. thing is, is with out in the nature though, out in nature, you have the immediate oh. satisfaction of call and response, like it, 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 and it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, well, and you don't necessarily care. You're like, you're like, all right, like I'm right. in this general direction, like, yeah. it's you, all good. You feel like one with your ancestors, like you feel like connected you, no, to you do. all you the do. millions of people that are inside. You do, especially of if you're you. just talking to someone straight through it. That's like the that's when you know you're hanging. Oh up. yeah, and the, the eye contact. You're like, anyway, man, you're st- peeing in the in in the in the woods or in nature and you make eye contact with someone that you're having the conversation with at the same time there's nothing there's no b- greater bond than that you know what i'm saying so I- when, when we went to we went to <laughs> chicago yeah um uh went to wrigley you know it's built in 1911 mm-hmm. and i go Absolutely. to pee right yeah, yeah yeah i walk in there i'm like all right cool Wait, you went to Wrigley? No, I was there in 1911, whenever it was built. Oh, damn! Was, was, when, 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 when the magic words were in. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So, so I go into this bathroom. Yeah. And straight up, there's a, there's a, there's like a, um, like um, a, a trough. Oh. And okay. I hadn't peed in a trough since Janice Landing. You remember when Janice Landing had troughs? I have a vague memory of that. Yeah. Um. And before that, I peed one time as a kid at Hoolahan Stadium, the old Buck Stadium, mm. and they had they had circular metal trough there, bro. Like it was, it looked like it basically be a fountain, right? And there was just water kind of running down into it, and it was like a circle. And I agree, it had like part of the metal went up, so you didn't like hundred percent see the dude's dick like dead across. It wasn't like you're peeing at each other, right? Right. But the dudes like. To your left and right, especially like 45 degrees out from you, you just saw the whole thing. Oh, and yeah. that was just, just part of being a man. Okay. Yeah. So I peed there with my like, you know, little kid dick. And then, um, so I went there and I was like, okay. Okay. Am I going to pee in a trough at the Cubs game? Yeah. Because they had other urinals next to it as well. Like they had oh, normal options. urinals. Nice. And I went with the trough. You, you, I had to. You have to. I went with the trough and I was like, look, man, I'm going to do it because mm-hmm. I, YOLO. Yeah, you know what I mean, be and uh, it was pretty cool. That's awesome. And I'll be honest story. with you too, man. The the risk of splashbacks almost zero. Yeah. Do you this? You saying this just made me realize that uh, when we took those aptitude tests in high school, uh, urinal mm. um, um, uh, architect was not on that. I did not know that that was like an option. Like we could have been the yeah. Frank Lloyd Wrights of we of urinals. Like you could have. I mean, we still could be, I guess. I mean, I guess we no, could. That's not too late. The, the, the urine, urinal science is probably not, like, reached all of the, they're, like, you know, the balance. Urinals should just be deeper, everyone. That's, that's what's, that, that's what, that'd be the fix you need. Right. The fix you need is a urinal that looks almost like the, the horn of a saxophone. Mm-hmm. Where it, it, it like narrows and it comes up you know, right you know, kind of has a turn to it yeah yeah, yeah. And you pee down in that thing dude okay splash back zero well okay that's cool comfortable but like, like what if you're kind of peeing into the void and then it just flushes at the bottom but what if we could do it and make it musical to where like depending on like it, it would be like mm. almost like a like a urinal xylophone almost like where you oh that'd be kind of cool and, and pee out, like pee out a little melody yeah do a little melody and then someone starts beatboxing next to you and then all of a sudden you're like oh. recording that and then you got a new ringtone, and that's- well, and, and also it, it would it would like encourage like 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 social bonding, oh, because you'd have to be like you're almost done, and you're like tapping the shoulder guy next to you, like you gonna pick it up or what? Like yeah, I'm in the key of C. Oh, oh, oh like, it's I, like I'm a done. song that keeps like, I'm going. Done. Yeah, and then oh. that guy's like, all right, man, I got you, fam. But he changes the melody a little bit. You're like, all right, cool, man. Like I'm out. And that's then amazing. Before you know it, he's looking. He's kind of like. Right. Bro, listen, yeah. like two you're, you're, you're down, like yo, key of C, bro. Like let's yeah. go, and like the song you're just end. like going. <laughs> The and then, like, when you, when you come back, when you come back, like, it's all different. Yeah. You've been gone for a while. And you're like, oh, shit. Like, right. Now they're in a different key. And, like, now it's all, like, Calypso, you know? That's amazing. Um, We could just pee into, um, uh, uh, what's the instrument they use in Calypso all, in Calypso all the time? It's the steel oh, wow. drum, but it's, yeah. it's tuned. Oh. What's that called? I don't know what, it, I know what it's, I know what you're talking about. It's I a steel drum, but, like, like it, 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 it's, like, precisely tuned. And you might be able to pee into that and make different. Yeah, that's music. what that's the kind of the sound that I was hearing. Um, yeah, it was very calypso. Um, I'm trying to like see if under I can, the sea. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, I just see steel pan tuning. That's all I. That's all I see. 
You're fine. Um, is You're it fine. D? Is it D I I? Is that anything? No. Oh, that's a character. No. That's a person. Okay, never mind. I thought that was a like one of those because it looks like one of those things where it's like, oh, it's it's pronounced die, but it's it's D I I. Sure. Like, but yeah. No, that's yeah. Just you, a you get it all messed up. You forget. And shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 So anyway, well, oh, uh, okay. my goodness. Well, speaking of piss, uh, we got to do this episode. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get into it, and uh, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So uh. A little behind the curtain, just in case. Um, there's a lot of mix up as to what episode is what. If you have the yes. DVDs like we do, you might have heard us talk on the last actual Turtle Soup episode that mm-hmm. uh, we. It's gonna be this. The next episode is gonna be hilarious. I think I said at the end, I was like, Ryan, I don't yeah. want to spoil anything, but it's gonna be pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, it turns out, and thankfully Ryan picked no. up on this that uh, our number, the numbers are off. The, this episode we're doing tonight, All in the Family, is not on the Shout Factory DVDs. Yes. Uh, as far as I can tell and everything I saw, they're not on there. And um, so on I was YouTube, in reference. YouTube, also the orders are, are out of order. If you um, There's a, a fellow uh, that has uploaded these episodes and, and erroneously, erroneously lists this episode as episode nine. Mm. However, it's episode seven. Right. Um, it's all mixed up. Right, so uh, I, th- I believe we're basing our order off of Turtlepedia or TMNTpedia or something like that. TMNTpedia and Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah, so um, we're trying to I verified on both sides that this is episode seven, All in the Family, and yeah. that the plot line matches the plot line from the video that I saw that right. was the episode. So, yeah, a little bit of confusion. It's really strange. All the, that this episode doesn't appear on the DVD. It's really, really odd, although... <sighs> I probably got to say if I don't know, they were like, Oh, Oh man, it's at how, how much data did the DVD hold again? I can't remember. I the think number. a DVD. Do you remember the number? It, ooh. Something gigs. It was, it wasn't, I don't know that it was, was it gigs? It had to have been gigs. It was but, gigs. I just remember on, on CD, it was like four, 750 megabytes or whatever it was. Right. Remember that? Yes. I um, do. They were probably like, Oh, Oh man. Oh, we just can't get, Oh, the overburn. Oh, it won't yeah. work. Oh man. Yeah, and oh, they're the like, overburn. Overburn. Oh, you know, overburn. I, do, that, I, that I CD, do. Maybe. So, I do. so you're like, oh man, it won't work. Hey, we got to cut an episode, and then they're like, oh, obviously this one, obviously this one, and it it kind of makes sense. There's only one decent thing that comes out of this, and you'll hear us talk about it a lot. Um, yeah, yeah. So, are you ready to get into it? I'm ready to get into it. So, here we go. <laughs> Next mutation, turtles, episode seven. This is from October 24th, 1997. Uh, it was uh, entitled All in the Family, uh, written by Eric Weinthal and directed by James Taylor. Mm. Um, just a quick aside, uh, we covered this on the main podcast, but if we're clipping this, um, uh, Eric highlighted that uh, this episode is missing from your DVD, is it not? Yeah, yeah. The Shout Factory uh, Next Mutation um, DVD. It is, it is non-existent. Oh, um, it basically this episode is episode seven. It gets skipped. Am I correct that you go straight to silver and gold? You which, go sh- you go from the staff of De- Bukai, uh, which is yeah, listed five. here as uh, episode six. Six, six yeah, because uh, yeah. you have the f- the five parter. Episode yep. six is the, the staff of Bukai. The last episode, and then yep. seven is uh, silver and gold. And that's what right. it. And then what's deceptive <laughs> is that on the back, I don't know how well you can see it in this shot. But this little, this, oh, wait, this finger. There we go. Whatever. Okay. This text right here says, contains the first seven episodes. That is a lie. It does That's not. That's a pure lie. Pure lie. Um, um, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, but if you got the East meets West uh, and you're going through it, and you're thinking you've watched everything, uh, you, you're yeah. mistaken. And thankfully you're here. So and- this episode is available yeah. on YouTube. Um, and uh, it is called All in the Family. Um, it is incorrectly listed on youtube as episode nine so there is a huge mix-up but yeah wikipedia mm-hmm. tmtpedia both agree i did a lot of research i'm glad i did because i was oh, about yeah. to just review the one that i thought was the right episode and <laughs> yeah. there's a large probability that eric and i would have had two different notes and that would have been hilarious that would have been hilarious um, so yeah this is all in the family um and you know the other episode concerns like a gangster gorilla character and the yes. name all in the family sounds like it could be about a gangster gorilla guy. It does. Like the mafia it totally family. Does. Like it feels like it works. Yes. You know what I mean? Which is weird. It is very weird. Um, 
So anyway, like I said, yeah, written by uh, Eric Weinthal, directed by James Taylor, uh, October 24th, 1997. Ready? I'm ready. On a jog in the sewer. Oh, man, I tell you what. We jog, and everyone complains about it. Um true. Leo's leading the march. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, we're going to try to find a lot to talk about in this episode, but I'll be honest it's, with you guys. It's, it's, just, it's just a lot of running around, and you don't understand. Yeah. Um, Mikey smells pizza and goes on a chase, uh, and the other turtles follow him. And Leo has a line. He says, pizza's still a problem for Mikey. Yeah. Which is funny because it, it lines up with some of the stuff we talked about interpreted before where there is definitely a um, push of like the turtles are grown up now because the teenage yeah. is gone, right? Mm-hmm. The teenage mutant is Not gone the from the, the name. And they're acknowledging in this continuity that like they used to be all about the pizza, but Mikey still has a bit of a weakness for it, which I thought was very interesting. I think that's interesting. And I, I really like that because then it, it's not just like universe or, or like every one of them is obsessed with pizza. It's like, it kind yeah. of makes that uniquely him. And I, it does. I, I kind of, it kind of redeems that for me in a little bit. And yeah. I yeah. Like that. And I think if anybody, if anybody would have, would have been stuck on pizza, I think it would have been Mikey. Absolutely. Maybe the, 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 the biggest one into it. Yeah. Um, so they come across like a, a, a sewer dungeon is the way they kind of explain it. Yeah. And uh, Mikey starts like singing this weird song about a bum's weird. dirty clothes. It's like, yes. kind of ridiculous. Yes. Um, <clears throat> and he's singing a more, but he's right. doing his own words to it because of the Italian thing. Yeah. And they discover a cage covered in cloth and they open it up and it's a baby turtle. Mm-hmm. Um, a baby sea turtle. We're led to believe. I, I always thought that sea turtles had like, the wing kind of like front legs. Oh, and right, this one right. Doesn't. This one just has regular turtle legs. I don't yeah, know what's yeah. going on. They're probably like, oh, a bunch of dumbass kids. Like they don't, they don't know. They don't, you know, know. They don't know what a sea turtle is. Right. Um, but Venus senses fear and grief from mm. this turtle. Um, so they're looking at it and like, there's this shot thing where like Mikey can't, uh, is like, oh, dude, like he's a dude or whatever. Yeah. And Venus is like, no, it's a girl. Yeah. And she suggests that he needs to have a talk with Splinter about the birds and the bees. Yes. Yes. And I'm like, I'm like, Dang. I mean, I've been around turtles. I mean, yeah. I'm sure, you know, you can probably check out that front tail. That front tail. It's but like, I mean, I think it's a little bit weird because it'd be like, oh, you know, you don't know a male frog from a, a female frog. You must know, not know about, you know, anatomy. It's like, well, I don't know, man. Animals are different, though. They they are. And it's... Like, it's animals look a little different sometimes. They do. They do. Down there. So, so one thing, two things real quick. So I love the, the way that... Because the way you said it, exactly how it happened with one thing, she says he's a female. And I just given the cl- oh. climate of everything, I loved the way that that just came off. I like the way that she did that. And it, it ties into the way that Venus kind of does that speak where she'll say the the right, wrong thing and this and that. Kind of played yeah, into that. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. I love that. Yeah. And then, um, but when we got my cat Cheeto, uh, he was just kind of, he was an outside cat, but we could obviously tell that he was mm. uh, domesticated a little bit because he was very friendly coming up to you and stuff. Yeah. But I never took the time and never really had a, a, a situation in my life to where I needed to know whether or not a, a cat was male or female. And oh. So then I just happened to gaze upon my cat's uh, backside and was very, mm. very obvious that, oh, those are uh, testicles. I, I, that's what's yes, hanging off the back of my truck. That, oh. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> and your rearview mirror, too. I forgot about that one. And mm. um, but uh, yeah, the uh, so that was weird. But it's so funny, though. It's one thing yeah. if I'm looking at my cat's ball, my genitals, my cat's genitals. It's sure. another thing when you're a turtle that's looking at another turtle's genitals. Oh, right that's true. Here. Like, uh, how are you elevated past being a, a turtle? Yeah. Like, you're still a turtle, but you're going to, like, yeah. pick up this turtle and check out his junk? Well, yeah. Let's go. It you seems, know what I'm saying? I know she didn't mean anything by it, but it still seems a little odd. Yeah. So, it's really weird because yeah. after she, after Vina says, uh, uh, he's a female, she leans in really close and goes, how people choose to live their lives has nothing to do with you. So shut the fuck up. It's that, really that's, weird. And, it's what and she then, says. And then, yeah. and then like, yeah, she said that. I was like, yeah. whoa, that's, that's really, that's really next level. Pro, um, I'll, I'll, I'll I think it. everyone should hear that. That's next um, mutation. It is next mutation. So, um, so yeah, so they're doing all this and then this grate opens up above them and they suddenly 
uh, witness an apparent illicit black market turtle sale yes. between a dude who looks like, frankly, he could just be B David Bowie on a bad day. <laughs> um, uh, honestly, his dress sense. Um, yeah. uh, and we only, only know this guy as Sweat's name. Okay, that's the only name he gets. Oh, did he get a name? I didn't. Yeah, because he says, listen, you sweat stain. Oh, and then oh, later yeah. he goes, oh, I'll sell you back to sweat stain and I'll make all this money. So he oh, like, that's the name yeah, he's given. I him. missed that. I totally missed that. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So that's sweat stain. You know what I'm saying? He's like, long American. And, and he's like, listen, let's make a deal. <laughs> um, and then uh, we also meet one Simon Bone Steel, who sweat stain pronounces his name as Bonus Steel. And I thought, <laughs> oh, that's kind of oh, interesting. Yeah. And then later on, Simon Bone Steel makes very clear that it's just Bone Steel, bone like steel. the way it's spelled. Right. I'm like, oh, yeah. I um, ooh. so bo so Simon Bone Steel self glosses as quote the greatest hunter on this here blue marble. Mm -hmm. uh, and it looks like he could have been a member of Skinny Puppy in the late '80s. It, that 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 right there. If he's just like playing keyboards, right? Yeah, in the background, and like ogres covered in like you know, whatever, like Jello and like videotape, then like <laughs> you're set. Like, like, like yeah. it's a show. There you it's go. Skinny Puppy in, in like right. 1989. Like he's just set. Right. Um, But yeah, like what's your first impression of Simon Bone Steel? Because he comes <laughs> on strong. He's amazing. I real strong. He's got that. He's got that Bobcat Goldwraith, Goldwraith, whatever yeah. I would say his name. He's got that energy. Yeah. Right the first yeah. Yep. And uh, he's got a lot of that energy. I... I really liked his character. Like in the fact that I, I, I know that like it's a trope in the, in almost every fiction fictional universe where, especially where there's any kind of like superpowers or whatever, like comics and whatnot, like there's always the, the wild game hunter and stuff and turtles. I think we've seen, we see one in Mirage at some point. Um, I, yeah. I, I, I think, uh, but, uh, but, Nevertheless, still here and having the, the the thing I love about it is that there's room for multiple of them. Like th th that's one of the logical things, because you're going to see that each one of them are going to be trying to one up the other. But nevertheless, having that archetype like here and present in this format, I don't know. I just thought he did a really good job and just had a lot of wild, crazy, almost like lunatic kind of uh, like. Like, so, like he lost some marbles kind of energy going on. Yes. And um Yeah. I loved it. And Simon Bone Steel. Bone Steel is such an awesome name. Like that is amazing. And it, yeah, it almost sounds like a porn star name, but like uh but no, it just does. It just does. That like He man. reminds me a lot of that oh god, who is that hunter character from DC? Uh he had a lot of interactions with like Animal Man. Um Oh, I don't know. I know there's Craven the Hunter from Spider Man. Uh, um, there's no. Him, it it but, was basically DC's version of him. Yeah. Uh, and I think his premiere was in Grant Morrison's Animal Man, but I mm. might be wrong. Yeah. Um. Anyway, he reminds me a lot of him too. Which Craven okay. the Hunter is also another character like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I guess one thing I was kind of immediately a little bit critical of mm -hmm. um, was just the fact that like. He seems like overly silly and dumb. Yeah. Um, but then I started kind of thinking, well, you, if he's too good of a hunter, the turtles die. Right. Yeah. Like if he's actually that boy, yeah. then you're not going to live. No. So in the turtles. interest of the turtles, it's better that he's kind of stupid. Right. These turtles definitely benefit from his uh, ineptness, I guess. hundred percent. Um, because I'm pretty sure the Robodope could have just continued forever. Oh, yeah. And if, if they oh, hadn't, like, figured something else out. Oh, my God. I can't wait till we get to that part. But um, yeah. now, uh, real quick for our audio listeners, uh, he looks kind of... Try, try to imagine, like, if Joey Gladstone let his hair grow out. Like, Uncle Joey. Okay. Let his hair grow out. And didn't was shower just, for a year. Didn't shower for a year, but has a pretty okay tan, but still kind of dirty. Has uh -huh. one probably it's probably a dread, but it's also like wrapped in animal skin. And then yeah. he has like another thing of just teeth hanging off the side of his shoulder that looks like something that uh, uh, an officer, like a military officer, would adorn themselves like as like some like yeah like badges yeah. or whatever. But it's just yeah. teeth, I think, and um, not like sharp teeth, but like just. 
like 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 molars. Like and molars. Stuff. Yeah. It's weird. And he with and and throw in just a dash of some Cletus the slack jawed yokel from The Simpsons. And and that's Yeah, that's yeah, kinda... yeah. It's all kind of there. Imagine it's 1989, mm-hmm. you're in like Chicago, and you go to see Skinny Puppy, and, and he's scene. in the back playing keyboards. Um, now, now uh, while we're talking about him, real quick, so this actor is uh, his real name is Scott uh, McNeil, and um, they I, I bring this up because he's a famous voice actor, and I was like, just I clicked on his link, and I was like, oh snap, I know him from a lot of stuff. So apparently, he did a ton of voices for uh, Beast Wars, uh, the the original animated series. Uh, he was Dinobot, Rat Trap, Waspinator, and Silverbolt. Uh, he was oh, yeah, Koga. Yeah. Koga in Inuyasha that I, oh my God, I love Inuyasha so much. It's so, oh, near and dear. And then he was the original voice actor for uh, Piccolo uh, in the Dragon Ball franchise for those who like that. So, I mean, the Beast Wars, the Beast Wars, uh, uh, Bonafides alone. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. sets him apart. And now he's done a ton of other stuff since then. Sure, right. um, but, yeah. but, but still those are the ones that I was like, oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah. And then he did this and I'm like, that's, I don't know. I, that just made me feel good inside, and I like that. No, it's so, cool, and yeah. and I'll say this: it's really interesting that the turtles have their not their first like human opponent as well, which I think is, is remarkable. Like, not, because, like yes, Shredder, you mean non mystical kind of. Yes, yes, Shredder's yeah. human, but like I'll be one hundred, dude. Like in this show, he 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 didn't exist. Like More he less, literally yeah. gets like his soul gets shattered by like Venus in like three seconds. Yeah. Like I'm talking about like this episode's about him. And yeah. he's the guy. You know how many times it is a like, human actor with no makeup, no suit on, really, of, like dealing with the turtles. And I like that. I, I mean, it's oh, kind of cool. I love that. Uh, but I, I, to, to your point, to double down on your point, Shredder saw his reflection in the in the snow covered hills of his of his uh, blades, and it Absolutely. just melted him. You yes. and I. There's like 300. Well, uh, well, I think we started the streaming at 200. So let's just say 100 episodes of you and I looking eye to eye, face to face, couple of silver spoons right here, just uh-huh. like constantly looking at our demons, keeping everything in check and we ain't melted. So like Shredder is nothing in this. Yeah, so no, I no. Double down no. on what you said. Absolutely. So yeah, yeah, this is neat that this is the first like bona fide, just bone steel human being. You know what I'm saying? And like, yeah, that's, no, that's, he's, that's he's, really he's neat. Bone steel of out here <laughs> are, are, are getting it done. Uh, and he's obviously... I get I get a weird kind of Rat King vibe off him. Oh, that's another Not, good point. I you know, think just just that. just a touch. Just just like if you were like, well, we don't really want to use Rat King, right? But like, could you make a character that just gives me the feeling of Rat King? Exactly. Kind of. I think this would be this would like pass the assignment because right. he's grungy. He's like obviously insane. He's uh, all up in your sewer, like. He at one point does produce a flute. And oh yeah, thing. yeah. Um, and he just has that vibe of like a mysterious, dirty kind of guy that you don't know like how crazy is he versus like how like good it is he at what he does. Like what? Right. But he but he's obviously survived in doing this, so something's going right. Something's going. Like right. I, it's get a little bit of a rat king vibe. I would not like. I feel like you could have had this episode be about rat king, and it would have been like the same episode. Oh basically. yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's as far a- as what he presents to the turtles. Absolutely. As a, as a villain. And I and I, I think that's what I like about him too, is that there's that, yeah. that mystique to him that's like, oh yeah, I, right. I wish the episode would have been better. Yeah. Um yeah. in general. We'll get a little bit into why. The farther we get in, you'll be like, Okay, so where's the where's the stuff? And right. we'll be like, There's you you got it. There's that's it. it. There's not much here. Um what you've already seen so far, by the way, which is, you know, Simon Bone Steel and Baby Turtle, that's the whole episode. So you, you strap in. Yeah. Um so effectively, what happens is uh, the deal gets made for 500 American. You mm. too can own a baby sea turtle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's really unclear. The editing is really bad. But like Mikey, like like there's some cheese falling off a piece of pizza, and yes. it's going down the grate. And like Mikey's trying to reach for it, but yeah. Then there's a noise. Something happens. But either way, it's really weird. But like. Bone Steel gets alerted to the sound after he mm-hmm. makes the deal. And he's like, what the hell's going on down here? And also, I'll get you your turtle. So yeah. there's like a one-on-one. One, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he, he goes down there and uh, to investigate. And that's where I'm going to hand it off to you. Yeah, it gets it gets very weird here. Because like the the it, it's it's 
there this is like that 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 piece of pizza the the cheese the that was coming down that's what this episode is it's all stretched out and it's all basically the same thing like you were saying so yeah, yeah um i uh i'm trying to think if i have actual images of this transaction or this this transition of what happens but it's oh. it's so hard to figure out from my cuz that a what, little what's bit behind what? Yeah, a little yeah. bit behind the curtain. I'm I base a lot of my stuff off of the screenshots. That's that's how we run it. Yeah, and so I can't tell if I'm way ahead or way behind in my pictures. So yeah, that's that's what's wild about this episode. But anyway, we'll see. And I definitely want to talk about one transition. So before I hand it back off to you in a minute, I'm going to talk about something if I don't get to. But anyway, now sure, Leo, Leonardo, mm. you know him, you love him. He orders the turtles to vanish along with the baby turtle. And, uh, but bone still notices that the baby turtle is gone and, uh, just passing his flashlight around the sewer. Like he, he, he it's like, he's just like, look at her. He's just like, Oh, uh, uh, and he almost gets them. He, he, it's like, it's almost like metal gear. Like I felt like I was like, uh, like a solid snake whoa. just being like, yeah. Or whatever that sound is. Um, yeah, but no, but yeah, it just barely gets him. And then eventually he sees him and everyone, the turtle's like, oh, what? And they, they just, like, just like, cr- they're like crouching against the wall. And yeah. he, there's like zero effort. He's like, what's that noise? He <laughs> And he goes around and it's like just turtles. Yeah. And like, yeah. they're the worst at hiding. They're the worst. They're And they're, they're like, so like you said earlier, they're no longer teenagers. They're just ninja turtles. And they fail at being a ninja. Like, Really bad. Really bad. For being turtles, for being turtles that are like, you know, all grown up, oh, we're past our our, our pizza thing. And right. Mikey still has a pizza thing. Like, they haven't really, like, done better. Not to mention, there are episodes in this show where they hide better than this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. There was a whole thing where, like, Raph and Splinter were, like, hiding in the sewer from, like, all the dragon dudes. And, like, they hid, like, really well. So, like, why can't they do it now? Yeah. It's yeah, weird. Yeah. The the rank, they like, they, they can't find them. But, like, Bone no. Steel's just like, oh, flashlight, here you go. Um, Yeah, super weird. Anyway, they fight and a lot of rope-a-dope stuff. And, uh, you yeah. know, a Bone Steel just, uh, dick in the dirt uh, is, is is what happens there. And um, yeah. uh, so, Don't worry. You'll, you, 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 you'll see the instant replay. Yes. It happens a lot. Now, um, is this, let's say, okay, so they travel to another section of the sewer by car. Makes no sense. Like, they get they, the, the, they, the turtle. They got, they got there by car, I don't understand, and then they, they're in the car again. Like, we gotta find a place for this baby turtle. And yeah, I'm like, like they, because uh, what happened? At the beginning of the episode, you started with them jogging, but at the beginning. They're just jogging. No, no, at the beginning, dude, they jump in the car and oh, drive. Oh, that's right. And that's then the very jog. first thing. They, the they, only they reason I bring that the up. Cars. Yes. The only reason I bring that up, no, 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 it's fine. But the only reason I bring that up is because here they're jumping in a car again. Why? Yeah. Why are they doing all this? It makes my no only damn thought sense. is that they drove out to I don't know a part of the sewer where they could jog easier. I don't know. And then like they're like sightseeing. That's they're like yeah. going to downtown downtown sewer review down there, <laughs> and and then they like get dragged in with with bone steel and they get the turtle and they get out of the sewer again to go back home to their sewer right but what happens next makes no sense because they're in another section of the sewer just talking and they get discovered again and i'm like yeah you're not home then yeah where'd you stop like it makes no sense it makes no sense and i think at this point so they they uh they they get in the car like you're saying and they they get out of there they they um you know, they're trying to figure out what to do with the baby turtle. And, and I thought that was kind of neat that they're trying to be like, yeah. oh, I don't know. What should we do? And Raph keeps talking about how much he hates humans. Like he just, yeah, no, he like totally does theme. not like, um, I think he had a, a, a statement saying something that like, um, oh, he did. He also didn't like the idea that there was another female turtle in uh, the group, like the prospect oh, of yes. that happening. No, he had a lot of problems with that. Which is yeah. very weird considering that drawing of him and either Leo and no. or Venus on the back of the motorcycle. But just let's ride or, or whatever the thing said. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, oh, well, I forget what it was. But uh, I, was, uh, I will never funny. forget this next thing, Ryan. So a transition to the next confrontation where, uh, where Bone Steel catches up to him. I... The, it'll go down as one of my favorite I things don't. about this show. They show this. That was just so random. That only this thought r- is because the hunter theme. It's like a. It's like a. It's a. A buck like mounted on a, like a trophy buck. Yes. Head. Yes. 
And it's, goes, rant, rant. it's all CG. And I'm like, is that because he's a hunter? Because that makes no sense with what's happening right now. Right. Yeah. At no, all. At all. And, but I loved yeah. it. I loved it. I thought it was, I was not expecting that. And that totally got my attention again. And uh, yeah, that just, that was fantastic. Um, so then, yeah, I don't know where Bone Steel catches up with him. And, and find, he has this like gun and this turret looking thing. And he just looks like he's totally in an eighties, like a uh, movie. Like, yeah. Totally eighties. At first you're like, dude, is that like a, like dual rail mounted, like weapon? It right. looks like a turret. It does. And I'm like, yo, he's about to blow these dudes apart. He is. And but then he shoots a net. He's even got this like thing that goes over his eye that shows like the reticle and it shows him like oh, the, 100%. The, the, all these, these uh, different things, I guess. And it's searching a database and on it, it has zoom capture uplink. And then it says market value, and it says off. I mean, off it's scale. important to know. Off it scale. is off scale, off scale. Yeah, and uh, so he's got Leo in his sights, and Leo's like just flashing around his one sword that he's got, and yeah, it's uh, it turns into scissors. Anyway, I forgot about it. Then it turns into scissors. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Yeah, so, that was yeah. really weird. So yeah, uh, so Bone Steel, uh, like all this stuff happens. He 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 tries a net, doesn't work. Then he tries a flute that has like ultra high frequencies, which, uh, okay, that's fine. And then lastly, he tries a crossbow, or excuse me, not lastly, thirdly, he tries a crossbow yeah. uh, with dynamite, which that's that's cheesy as hell, but like I still thought it, it was pretty funny. And the turtles catch it and throw it back at him and all this stuff. And it's, it doesn't do anything? Yeah, no. To him? doesn't it do anything. smoke? I'm like, what are, what are you doing? Like, yeah. What is that? Yeah. And uh, let's see, is this the... Is this it? Yeah, this is him with the dynamite uh, yeah. launching that. And, he tries um, to use it in their first fight, but the fuse isn't lit. And I'm like, what were you planning to do with that? Yeah. So now the weird. fuse is lit. I'm like, oh, I, guess now, I guess now you mean business. Oh, yeah. And um, But you mentioned when they shot the net, Leo, I think, doesn't Leo get out with the net, with the scissors? Yeah. Isn't that how that happened? Yeah. And that was wild. I was not expecting the, 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 the blades to open up as scissors. That... I love it that because it's so terrible, but like it's also terrible. But anyway, so um, fourthly, uh, he uses a whip against the turtles, which was done in a in a way that was uh, like very much um, sped up yes. to to show to kind of like illustrate that he's like very adept at like using it yes. and all this stuff. And he says it's rodeo time, and like yeah, it, it, that that was just terrible and ultimately unsuccessful at subduing anybody and yeah once none of it again, does anything once again dick in the dirt and uh, turtles tell bone steel to uh leave him alone and uh just forget the the baby yeah. turtle which uh bone steel recovers greedily when they leave like because the turtle they forget the goddamn turtle like they, it's just left there yeah like they totally leave it's in a box it's in like a box and it falls on the ground when they're fighting, and then it crawls away, and they leave, and then Bone Steel's like, "Hell yeah!" Oh yeah, he's he, he, and, he, and you're like, "Are you kidding me?" Because because at this point in the episode, I go, "Oh, so they have to do it again?" Right? Yeah, like just a repeat. They have to go that. get him back again. Yeah, like I don't know if I'm. I, I, I that's one of those where you. You 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 scroll down and see how much longer the episode has. Oh yeah, because you're like, oh, how much longer is this going to last? Exactly. Like, and that's um, a shame because this is the first time. It's a shame for this this um this series for us. Like six episodes in, we were kind of like, okay, all right, this is fun, this is cool, we got this, and it, this we one were was literally. Yeah, well, I'll save my thoughts. Yeah, for, yeah, for yeah. We're jumping ahead a little bit, but uh, but yeah, they yeah. forgot the turtle. Bone Steel has the turtle yet again, and uh, yeah. So now, uh, now we so, gotta see how like, it resolves. Yeah, so now they're walking back through the sewer back home again, and Venus notices finally. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many. First of all, if you're looking to adopt a baby turtle, y'all are terrible parents. Horrible parents. Yeah, they're totally not. They're, she needs to have a conversation with Splinter about. Being a about like, parent, about like CPS. Talk like about what can happen to you. Oh yeah, talk you know about somebody saying? who found baby turtles, four baby turtles in a can in the sewer. That's yeah. Splinter right there. Yeah, Venus, your dad found one turtle. Splinter found four. Yeah, and took care of them. Didn't have this part. Yeah, they need like CPS. an adult. Yeah, around. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, 
But yet Venus finally notices after all this BS talk about, oh, you love the turtle? No, I don't love the turtle. I think the turtle's stupid. Oh, well, I think I think that it's our baby. And like, no, you don't. And uh, right? Yeah. And you're like, okay. And then the baby's missing. Yeah. And eventually, after a lot of posturing on everyone's part, everyone agrees to finally go back and again confront Bone Steel. Yeah. But not before Donnie drops a mini PSA on the uh, challenges facing endangered turtles. And it oh, feels yeah. like it's an afternoon special. And you're like, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, because it, they, they wedged it in like the worst way. Because they, they, they literally decide, hey, we're going to go fight. And then it's like, stop and talk about turtles. And everyone's like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. And it's like, no. We're after, like, why are we doing this? Like, I'm, yeah. like, I'm, I'm going to go fight the guy again. Um, Because they talk about like uh, pets being like like uh, turtles being pets and how like, oh, Venus is like, oh, well, aren't like, uh, isn't that a good thing? Wouldn't wouldn't that be a. Yes. Yeah. Because they're pets. And then that's where Raph's like, no, as I said, humans stink. Humans stink. Kids kids play with them. And yeah. Oh, 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 I forgot. That's the scene where he basically pulls like a, oh, Mikey, you're a feminist. Name every woman. Oh, that's basically true. on Mikey, yeah. Because yeah. Mikey goes, "No, nah, man, all humans aren't like that." He goes, "Name one good human." Yeah, and you're like, "All right, man, like, yeah, no, like, name every band." Yeah, asshole. exactly. Like, yeah. like, uh, no. Okay. Anyway, name three. Although, track. Mikey, Mikey did reply, "Old McDonald," and and I love it because that's the probably oh, one that's of the only right. comedy timings that actually worked out. He goes, "Old McDonald," and then I think like like Leo's like, "What are you talking about?" And they just move on. Yeah, like they don't like. Have him, oh, I'm talking about old McDonald had a farm. It's just that's it, just that right. old McDonald, and like that's all you. And Raph's like, come on, yeah. And it's like, yeah, like that. That was that actually really Mc, funny. That I, I kind of laughed at that one. Yeah, that's too good. So yeah, well, you don't have to worry like about it because they did. Did you find Bo Steel? And I don't even know how they find him because Bo Steel's just walking around. Like I don't know, but they find him. They ambush him, and in short order, disarm him of his favorite gun, Marguerite. Um, it's pictured here, yes. uh, and if and 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 the baby turtle, and uh, they tie him up with a bolo like thing that like Venus throws. Like her little balls do a lot of things, like her they little do. metal balls, and uh, it can be a bolo, right? Uh, Much like and the ones on the wraps back of your him. Truck. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. And also, it just wraps him up like a hundred ass times. But yeah. whatever, he's tied up, and they just like tease him about the gun. Like and and this is where you're just like oh my god like what are we doing? They he's like let me go I said let me go and they're like yeah well you know who names their gun mm-hmm. oh must be somebody who's like you know a sociopath but also like it feels whatever and it's like okay and he's like someone be someone who's not smart and he's like no give me my gun and then oh god damn so this leads to a scene where one by one. I want to name the guilty parties. Mikey, Leo, and Raph yes. begin to crawl on the ground trying to make the baby turtle, who's just now on the ground, right? feel like she has like companionship or feel like she has a friend. Mm-hmm. And then Donnie's like, don't do that, Mikey, because then she'll imprint on you and come home with us. And everyone's like, well, I thought we were taking her home. What? No. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, Leo gets on the ground. Yep. Raph gets on the ground. Mm -hmm. They start crawling around. Like, if you think, if you've not watched this episode and you think I'm director's cutting you, no, I am not. No. This literally happens. This weird music comes on and Mm -hmm. it becomes this really dumb scene. It does. Where they're all trying to, like, be a friend to this baby turtle and and what? And it's, it, 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 it takes like five minutes and it's awful. Yeah. Um, It's, it reminds me of, like, anytime there's like a, like a baby that is somewhat cognizant of like what's going on in, in whatever show or movie you're watching. And it shows the camera from their angle and it's the wide lens that or the fish eyed lens. Uh, and you see the, all the adults come in and they start talking all baby, big and, baby yeah. to them and stuff and like doing all this weird shit that, that that's what this scene kind of reminded me of. And, and it was God awful, but that, yes. Yeah. And, and what it basically happens is while all this is going on, I guess the only thing I can say about the scene is like, they pay a price, right? Because while they're doing all this, Bone Steel gets free, gets the baby turtle and Marguerite back, and he's like, I'm going to kill the baby turtle. Just screw him. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to kill all y'all. Yep. Right? <laughs> oh, 
And uh, then the most confounding thing happens. Yeah. What occurs, I can only describe as a verbal robodope. I don't know if I've ever witnessed it. Uh, I didn't know it was fully possible. Mm-hmm. But if you can robodope someone with words, that's basically what they do. It's kind of like the whole like who's on first thing, but like a very base non like yeah. It's not funny necessarily. It's, it's, it's not or clever really. At first, yeah, because at first you don't know what they're doing. Yeah, it's yeah. really weird. But like Leo basically uses the fact that you know uh, that from um, Bone Steel's. I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining this because it's really right. stupid. But basically, the idea is that Bone Steel says talking to all of them. Looks at the baby and goes, I'm going to kill you. And then looks at them and goes, then I'm going to kill y'all. Right? Mm-hmm. And Leo goes, me, you, or you, you? Yes. And he's like, what? And he's like, well, because if you're talking about you as in you and not as in me, then I'm going to get out of here. Yeah. And he's like, well, no, no. And then they they all start going around. And then they're like, why does the baby get to go first? Yeah. Well, is it good? Does it go before you, me, or me, you? Right. And he starts literally like, like he starts like his eyes start crossing. Like he can't yeah. like deal with it. At one point, they're like, "Well, we'll just take the turtle then." And yeah. he's like, "Oh, thanks a lot. Yeah, this is like really crazy." Yeah. Like, and then he's like, "All right, and we're gonna leave." Mm-hmm. And they just leave. They just go. Like, uh, and, uh, and I, I wish. I wish I could say there's more. No, but there's not. But they go to the sewer, and Splinter's very proud of everybody, and you find out that they turned the baby turtle back into the authorities, which was the yes. best call, because they don't know where the hell that baby turtle is at any given time. Yeah. Like, they just don't know. And then it ends with, like, Bone Steel back at his weird, like, hobo camp. <laughs> yes. Like, with yeah. his, like, Boot dangerously close to a real fire. Yes, I know. I noticed that, that was too. probably that was yeah. probably the only cool thing about that scene is like yeah. he's got like a fire a setup with like a with like a kind of a, a steel grate kind of up over it, right? And he's got like a pot on this grate, and there's flames leaking up around it in real mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. And his foot is propped on that metal thing. Yeah, I'm like, that's got to be hot as hell, Bone oh, Steel. Like, be. what are you doing, bro? It has to be. But he's also an idiot. So, I mean, whatever. But he basically swears revenge. Like he's going to yeah. hunt those turtles down and eat their shells and mm. turn them into bowls and whatever. Like, and he's just <laughs> he's an insane person. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. That is it. Um, that's all in the family. Now, uh, oh, man. I. Goodness. Again, like anytime we get together and we start talking about this stuff, like we kind of make things sound a little bit better than what they were. I Maybe. Feel like. Yeah. Um, honest to God, though, this episode is not fun. <laughs> um, it's it's kind of hard to get through. Thankfully, it's very quick it because they just regurgitate like the same thing over and over again. Um, so, I mean, it's quick to review. Yeah, it wasn't very quick to watch because no. it's the same length as every other episode. Precisely. So I guess, I guess what I mean, it sometimes feels slower than other episodes because nothing's happening. Right, but I guess I meant. I guess I was trying to say that like you can, um, you can kind of check out a little bit. Like there's like that's true. There's not as much. I'm not paying as much of it. Not that I'm not paying less. Not that I'm paying less attention. Mm-hmm. Nevertheless. It um, doesn't require a lot of your brain to like really get into what's going on or or, or follow anything cause because you might actually think that you've hit some of the devil's lettuce because <laughs> yeah. the episode's just over and over again the same thing. Absolutely, you might be like, dude, did I already watch this? Like, right. did I rewind it? Is, is will this ever end? Like, you might yeah. think those things. Now, so let's see. Let's start with some stuff we like. So, I love hmm. Bone Steel. Oh, the new I, drink. I, you I, yeah, say. I think Bone Steel. I love a new villain. I think that's awesome, especially yeah. one like that's, a new human villain. Yes, that's really cool. Especially one that's not attached to the Foot Clan or Shredder or anything like that. Love. Yeah, he's that. a new, unique character. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Absolutely, especially one that learns about the turtles and kind of knows, like, it now has some familiarity with them in the sense that, like, they're not just something he heard about or like this mm-hmm. uh, ambiguous thing. Like, he knows they exist, and so yeah. that's pretty cool. I like that. I love his name. I think his name is amazing uh i i I enjoyed the fact that the turtles didn't actually 
fight him so much is that they, I like the on paper. I like the concept that the turtles use their words to get out of this problem. Yeah. I like that on concept. On paper, that's better. Right. In practice, it didn't really work. It didn't yeah. really work. It was pretty obnoxious. But uh, but in paper, on paper, I, I I liked it, and uh, that's. Oh, and I like that transition with the with the uh, mountain oh, buck with with the mountain buck head. Loved that. Yes. Loved that. That's about it because everything else is just. This feels like we need something done real quick. We've got the bare bones of this. We know we want this character. Uh -huh. We know what he's gonna do. But I just we just need something, and then maybe throw in something about like you know some humanitarian. Well, I guess turtletarian kind of uh, cause yeah. and uh, yeah and. I don't know, this, th because this seems like something that could be in the Adventures comics and been handled way different, or way better, I should say. Uh, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, here's some information about the yeah. turtles, and then here's the hunter, and then here's this thing about, like, endangered species and how, like, having turtles for pets isn't always the best idea, and this and that. And, uh -huh. uh, yeah, yeah. But other than that, like, this is... Uh, ugh, God... Uh, it's not indicative of what we've seen from the show so far. No. And that's hopefully that's where this it is, stops. Yeah. This is the first episode I saw that like, I could see what people kind of always say about the next mutation. Absolutely. This is a different episode where I go, no, I, I can see where you're like, what are you doing? Like, what yeah. is this? Um, I think that it was incredibly cheap to shoot because it probably used the same uh, five feet of sewer set the entire oh, time. Oh, it totally did. Um, I think that they uh, the reason that the car is in there and that the motorcycle is in there is just to break up all the sewer shit because people might, might be like, it just didn't do anything else. And they're all the same shots. Um, we are those are all the same shot, shots. Just like more or less like reversed around. We've seen those shots before. Yeah, like it's fine. Uh, they just did it, so I think that that was weird. I think this episode made a lot more sense on paper than it did in execution. Yes. I think it probably also took probably half a day to film. Yeah. Uh, I think that that's what this episode feels like. It feels like an episode that they didn't want to spend a lot of money on other suits. That they just had this weird episode in, mm -hmm. in hand, and, and we can put it in wherever we want. You right. know what I'm saying? Um, if this episode, if I didn't know for a fact this episode aired on TV, I would almost be... I would almost believe that it never aired and was never released, that it was just a throwaway episode they made to complete a commitment. That is another part of what this feels like. Yeah. Uh, you watch any kind of shows, especially kids shows of this era. Um, you know, they had, they had, you know, commitment, you know, like in a uh, commission orders for these shows. Right? right. And it sounds like they had an order to fill and only so much and that there could be other episodes like this lurking through it. Mm -hmm. uh, where they were quick spec scripts shot quickly to inflate the number of episodes to complete the order. Um, and it f has every harm hallmark of that. It has no, see, the problem is every other episode, uh, which I guess I would, I would, I, I guess I would, I would turn to be canonical episodes mm -hmm. built on the canon of this universe. Right. Yeah. All the stuff with East meets West, right. Sets everything up and that's all, happened yeah um the staff of bukai happened yeah. okay and involved the dragon lord as well this episode is a bottle episode and it, it has is. no impact on anything so far so i mean i right yeah like like in in in, in that they introduced bone steel into mm. the universe i guess you could say well that's okay, ryan yeah and yeah. yes 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 because if if you didn't have bone steel there wouldn't be anything i mean like, that's true. like what would there even be, yeah, and they could just leave this guy alone forever, and you'd believe he ne was never smart enough to ever catch the turtles again. So right. why are we worried about him? Yeah, but the but dragon lord, you later. can't. You're, you're, that's a good point. You're right. The dragon lord, you can't like because yeah. he's he already has rent. Like he he's already got like a building. Like uh, we've yeah. seen him enough to where he's got responsibilities. Like this guy, he's, he's got, got responsibilities. He's got, he's got mouths to feed. Mouths to feed. And you're gonna ask yourself like, whatever happened to the fucking dragon lord? Dude, that guy was like out here. You know what I'm saying? Like right. what happened? Um, you'd believe that bone steel got lost somewhere or went away and never happened again. Yeah. So it's very low stakes. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think, I guess my last verdict on this one is I think it was made to complete the order. It was very cheap to film. I also believe that this probably all sounded way better on paper. Yeah. I think that I can see that the writer who, the person who wrote this, 
thought this is going to be a caper. Like mm. that that's my that's my concept. Yeah. It's going to be a caper. Uh there are jokes and some of the comedy is written almost I can see if it was shot at a faster pace and and it was snappier and stuff like it could be funny. Like keep losing the turtle but then like oh god damn the turtle and we got to go back to do bone steel and we got to like mm. whatever. If you made it funny, it it could work. But it just gets shot like a straight episode, and it yeah. doesn't work. It's not a caper. It doesn't feel like like they keep pushing the envelope farther and farther. And oh, you know, wh- wh- when's the shoe gonna drop? It doesn't feel like a caper. It feels like right. a boring tug of war between a person yeah. from Skinny Puppy and the Turtles is what it yeah. feels like. And like, and 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 all the members of Skinny Puppy were loved animals, so they wouldn't even be yeah, tug- so- doing tug of war. They'd be like, "Hey, yeah. let's go hang out and devil's devil's us with April." Is yeah. Basically, what they would say. It'd be tug so of love. like, tug of love. So. <laughs> Jesus. So <laughs> I I feel like yeah that's kind of my thing on this one I think it's definitely I think it's definitely skippable with the exception of Bone Steel yeah. I think like it I mean if he does come back then it would be cool to see his origin obviously mm-hmm. um but you know whatever if you're well, like well I could I could probably make lunch with this twenty minutes I would do that instead yeah yeah the, that yeah that's the only thing about this episode that is the fact that. They introduce him like so that's it other than that there's no real reason to watch this now the uh, but to your point though about the fact that uh this was something that they needed to do just to get it done just quickly just to fill an obligation or something yeah i don't think there's really any fight scenes in this episode so like the turtles uh aren't... there's a little like like uh, wire jumping like a little like venus at one point jumps like with, with the assistance of a wire mm-hmm. does like a 90 degree jump and lands and like lands on him and knocks him over oh okay but okay are you talking about martial arts like hand-to-hand yes. like blocked fighting right. no there's a, there's none of it yeah so like, he doesn't engage hand-to-hand like he, yeah. I, I think that's part of it too right like, is, is your point that like that's another way to shorten this, shorten the budget. Another precisely. way to make it quicker. Yes. Yeah, they there's can, no choreography. Right, it's because, just blocking. Hey, we, we got the guys in the turtle suits. Uh, we've got we're at the sewer set. Let's uh, let's do these these shots real quick, and let's get this guy in here, and then yep. um, we're gonna go out like and shoot some um, some transitional yep. shots, and we'll catch uh-huh. him under the bridge, and then we're gonna sh- start shooting tomorrow at the lair. So we'll get the splinter scenes in the lair and yes. get that. Then we'll use all of the um, traveling scenes that we've had throughout the entire series. Yes. P- piece them it's together. A, it, there you go. It's a meal of snacks. Uh, like, yeah, that's yeah, what it is. It, yeah, they put yeah, together yeah. a vending machine dinner yeah. out of shots. Yes. And they probably did shoot all throughout filming other scenes. Right. Um, and cobbled this together in the editing room. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of what it is. It's not that it's not that good shows can't have uh, bad bottle episodes. Right. Uh, um, I mean, you know, I mean, even Lost had that episode expose, which is like one of the worst episodes of television mm-hmm. I ever watched. Yeah. And I love that show to death. So yeah. everybody can have a, a rough one. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this one was, I would call it rough as much as like a snooze fest. Yeah. Like, that was kinda like, All right, super good. boring. Like, um, yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, now the next episode is Silver and Gold. Yes. That does open. Now I haven't watched the episode. Mm-hmm. Okay, but it opens with Mikey catching some sewer rays. Yeah. Trying to get a tan. Yep. And a car crash. Yeah. And a mafia gorilla. Yes. That, that's all I saw. And yes. I paused it and was like, "Hey, Eric, are we doing a review for real?" And Eric goes, "Yeah, no, nah, son." I'm like, "Oh, okay, cool." Yeah. And that's yeah. all that happened. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, no. I So we I, will see about that. I have seen a little bit of this gorilla and I am super excited about it. To, I can't wait to talk about it. And yeah, yeah it's going to be a lot of fun. But hey, what did y'all think of Bone Steel? Did you like what Bone, Bone Steel? Yeah. Yeah, is he up there? Is he now ranked among like Craven the Hunter and whoever Ryan was talking about from DC? Yes. And uh, <laughs> like <laughs> who was I talking about? I, I don't know. I'm trying to think too and uh I can't think to save my life. But Man, um, when I was really on my Animal Man plan, I was like reading like so much of that so I had him cuz he's he's actually one of my favorite characters. Can you tell me what he thing? looks like? Like what did he like was there a defining characteristic about him? Cuz the only thing that comes to my mind is the dad from Jumanji who also played the hunter in Jumanji which is uh wild the Robin Williams one His name's not Hunter 
I was about to say stupid. It, it might be his it's name's qu- oh wait wait no no he he had a um uh um African thing going on it was um damn it like I'm a, so close like a like a African is in like like a animal yeah, like skin his, kind of his, thing his uh his thing uh um was um or is he like uh not witchcraft um. Like voodoo no. stuff. No. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. No, there was. There was an origin. Whatever. It was the <laughs> origin of that. Like this yeah. is terrible. Content. No, I this love is it. Terrible. I love content. it. This is great. I. I, I love um. It. Well. Um. You keep reading. You keep. You keep looking up. I'm gonna give the. Yeah. I'll, I, I'm gonna figure we're it out. Figure we're, it out. We're, we're gonna, gonna figure it out. Might hit the post game. You know, a little bit. But yeah, guys. People, everyone, let us know. What did you think of Bone Steel? Uh, like, d- d- are you a fan of his voice work? Is there anything we yes. missed about him? D- is there anything we got loud and wrong? Definitely let us know. Do you know any reason why this wasn't included on the DVD set? We definitely want to know about that. And um, did you have pet turtles? And if so, what were their names? Like, t- tell us all of this either in the comments here on YouTube or uh, hit us up, show at gmail.com. You can also find all of our mm. old episodes here. Well, not all of them, but a bunch of them here on YouTube. Uh, but all of them are up on turtlesoupshow.com as well as should be anywhere you listen to podcasts. And uh, yeah, if you go back and you want to send us an email about anything you hear in the past, definitely do that. And um, yes. yeah, that's that. Uh, you can find us on the social medias, uh, Instagram, and uh, I think that's really the only one we're on. We're also on Facebook uh, with the Facebook group, which is a lot of fun and a lot of cool turtletarians in there sharing news and, and just other thoughts and opinions and having a good time. And uh, yeah, there's that. Mm. And if you want to go the extra mile, throw some pennies our way, you can do that by going to patreon.com. Find that we've done been making a podcast and your boy Easy's done been making some Patreon rewards to catch back up yeah on getting no, those he's out. been getting going and, uh, I, thank I, you. I caught myself a little a little view of that shirt too yeah you know what I'm saying? yeah a shirt coming up you know oh what yeah I'm yeah it's it's gonna be, be fun so uh yeah and uh thank you for everyone who we can call family that we couldn't do this without you and uh we really appreciate you and your patience and your patronage and if you'd like to do that again patreon.com and then, uh, yeah, like and subscribe here on YouTube means a lot. Uh, back in the day, Mario would jump out of your uh, computer uh, disk drive and d- do like a thumbs up or whatever. And then, you know, we haven't heard. And he also has like stories. a gun. Oh, Mario yeah. He has a gun. That's what I forgot yeah, about the, that. the gun that he would have. I forgot about that. So stupid. But now nobody really has an optical drive anymore um, on their on their uh, devices. So I don't know what he would jump out of. But uh, nevertheless, like and subscribe and see what happens and let us know. Email us again. Turtle soup show at gmail.com. And uh, yeah, Ryan, any any updates on uh DC Hunter okay, guy. I believe it's Buana Beast actually. Is oh, who I'm talking yes, about. that is who you're talking about. Yes, that is because 100%. Buana Beast, like when he appears in Animal Man, it's like super badass. Yeah, uh, and he, he was another character that was old and got like a we, like from the bam. '60s, and he got like a re glow up in mm-hmm. Morrison's run of Animal Man, and the themes are great and it, it's just if you haven't i mean whatever if, i've talked about if, if you haven't read grant morrison's animal man run you need to it's like one of those mind-blowing comic series i've it's ever great. read so is jeff lemire's animal man too um oh that's a whole nother but story like here, isn't you know wanna beast kind of like uh doesn't he have like a a cow that's like an animal head but he's also shirtless yes okay okay that's who i'm thinking of then yeah i got you yes so. and 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 yeah he um well, it's hard because you have his uh, original, like, 60s origin, and then you have, like, his retcon. Oh, right. Which, which the great the Morrison run is so wild because they, it literally deals with retcons, like, in yeah. the universe, like, in the comic. It's just very oh, like metasexual and okay, fourth yeah. whale. Yeah, like, um, like, literally at one point in the very beginning, this isn't a big spoiler, because if you read anything about this, it'll be like, this happens, kind of. Right. Um, Animal Man starts to have, like, Buddy Baker starts to have, like, different memories of different pasts Mm -hmm. and then basically gets figures out that he was retconned oh right in the comic yeah from his uh late 50s origin Mm. where his powers were given to him by like a ufo that just shot him with a laser and he got animal man powers oh yeah to how he got them now Mm -hmm. and he realizes he's been retconned he had a different wife he had different whatever his daughter was different and he's like and it's just it goes on from there. Huh. And it's it's wild. Because it's a comic book character you're reading 
that's realizing that he's in a comic universe and he was retconned. Right. It's wild. Yeah, that's not. It's just it's just so ahead of its time. That's how we got podcasting so powers was from a UFO, by the way. Most people don't know that, but um, little known fact. Um, yeah, it's a true story. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. these wannabes get sick, and then Animal Man cures him by mimicking the wanna beast's powers mm-hmm. because wanna beast is part beast. Yeah. So he Animal Man can impersonate him, and then gives him his white blood cells to help fight off this infection because he's now wanna beast. Right. Right. I'm like, yeah, that's wild. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry for the big stretch. This episode has no, been a huge thing. I Thanks everybody right for listening. Thanks yeah. for putting up with Wanna, Wanna Beast and, and myself. You I'm know glad what we I'm got saying? There. Yeah, we got there. We got That's there. big content. This felt a lot more like an old school episode. I think it part did. of it is because we weren't live, we're, we're recording it uh, more like we used to. And it yeah. definitely feels more like nobody's watching. We can Nobody, do whatever yeah. we want. You we're know like, what I mean? Like, like those uh, particles that when you observe them, they act differently. Oh, but, uh, no, yeah. not that. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. What? So, um, all right, guys. Well, uh, again, thanks so much for watching and like and subscribe. And yes. else time. Else time.